Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to Creations by Simone. All right, guys, we know what today is. Today is Wednesday, that's right. And as you know, if you've been following my channel for a while, that every Wednesday here at Creations by Simone, we do Wedding Wednesday. And this is just a segment that we just share all types of ideals, DIYs, um, just anything that could help our future bride and groom to be to have a beautiful day on their wedding day. Now, today, guys, I'm going to be sharing some awesome tips with you on buffet style weddings receptions. Now, as we know, buffet style food service has long been a staple of wedding receptions, and for a very good reason. It's very economical and it's an efficient way to feed a lot of guests with a lot of different preferences. But you know, we're in the age of social distancing, and certain changes will need to happen to ensure the safety of both the event guests and also the catering staff. All right, let's start off with what is the definition of a buffet style reception? A buffet style reception features one menu that is set up on a large table in one area. This differs from station style receptions, which feature multiple menu concepts scattered at multiple displays. Now, let's talk about the most important thing. Let's talk about the cost. When it comes to the most common forms of event catering, buffet style is typically a more affordable option than a plated station or family style. With plated, you have to hire more staff to take orders and carry the plates out to the guests. But with a buffet style, you might need half the amount of people to serve the food. Now, note that station style and family style catering also typically requires more equipment and serveware to pull off which further ups the pricing all right my bride and groom let's get into the pros and cons of a buffet style wedding reception now the pros are informality and flexibility the cons are long wait times and abundance now with informality a sit down multi-course plated meal conveys a certain level of formality at a wedding if yours will be more of a casual fare, a buffet style meal will add to the vibe of your wedding reception. Now this is especially true if you aren't really interested in assigned seats for your event. With a buffet style, guests can feel free to mingle, hit the bar, and fill their plate at their own pace. Now let's talk about flexibility. Now flexibility at a buffet gives guests the freedom to make their own plates according to their own preferences. And an added bonus to that, if you have guests that are vegetarians or vegans, they can skip the meat dishes altogether and fill up on other items that are on your buffet. So this gives them a good alternative and it makes them feel more comfortable and it gives them the option to choose what they want instead of having someone choose your menu for you. All right, guys, let's go over the cons. Now, this can cause longer wait times. Waiting for your table to be called up and for others to serve themselves can mean it may take longer for the guests to get their food. So I suggest to ease the wait times, you might prefer to set up a double side buffet so twice the amount of people can build their plates at the same time. All right, guys, let's get to the next con, abundance. Now, this can be either a pro or a con at a buffet wedding. Guests that require more food will often leave your wedding feeling very satisfied, but that also means that more food will have to be prepared. Now, with a plated dinner, if a guest RSVPs, then you know exactly how much food that you're going to need. But with a buffet, you have to prepare more than enough, and this can lead to excess food waste. But there are ways to migrate that. All right, my bride and groom, next up, I'm gonna give you a few wedding buffet menu ideals. Here are a few samples of wedding buffet menus. Southern inspired, roast or baked chicken, roast pulled pork, rice, green beans, cooked in broth and mac and cheese. Jamaican inspired, curry chicken, rice and peas, mac and cheese, preceded by an appetizer of plantain chips or jerk chicken skewers. Asian inspired, Peking duck, also have a carving station, mushu pancakes, lo mein with Napa cabbage, cured with baby carrots, Korean beef barbecue. Wow, that sounds awesome. <laughs> Next up, comfort food inspired, Korean fried chicken, Beyond burgers, ricotta chicken, meatballs, cauliflower, chickpea sliders, buffalo chicken meatballs, blue cheese sauce, 
fried cheese curls, applewood bacon, mac and cheese. Oh my goodness, I can go on and on. And Tex-Mex tater tots. That's comfort food inspired. That sounds delicious, guys. Let's face it, guys. Buffets help the bride and groom save on their wedding budget while still keeping their reception fabulous. You get the same quality food, just served in a different way. All right, my bride and groom, I hope I gave you some awesome tips for your wedding buffet. And if I did, guys, please make sure you comment down below. Give me that big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. I'm going to see you next Wednesday for another fabulous tip for the bride and groom. All right, my bride and groom, we are smack dab in the middle of wedding season. We're going to keep the segment up until the end of July. But I just want to let you know I have a lot of great things coming up. We're going to do a couple of live segments that will really help you on your special day. All right, my lovelies, I'm going to see you next Wednesday on Wedding Wednesday. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.